praise the Lord for the let the Lord let us be back in this house again. Amen. 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 Turn to page 231, Murder of Elizabeth Calvin. Let's sing that this morning. 231. Days are filled with sorrow and care. Hearts are lonely and drear. Burdens are Another Lord 
today. Thank God for you coming today. And oh, yes. me as being the church, I tell you, I was excited about getting to church this morning. Amen. Be able to be around God's people Amen. and hear the work songs of Zion. Be able to hear the work of God. And I just thank God for us to be here. Amen. I tell you what, I don't know about folks. A lot of folks that he, when they canceled church, they were joking. <coughs> Yeah. If, if I hadn't had to do it, I would have done it. We had to do it. We were glad to hear. Everything works out for God for, for God's glory, and I just thank God. And sometimes I thank God may want us to do, may might let us do that so we uh, be more appreciative of our church. Amen. Amen. But I'm glad, amen. I don't like to do it, but I'm glad to be here. Amen. Uh, we're going to pray this morning and ask God to help us today. Let's pray for my preacher friend, Brother Rodney Humphrey. He had a double bypass last Monday, and he's, he's supposed to have went home yesterday. I talked to him Friday. His heart's in AFib, but they said it's normal for a person to have bypass surgery. He said medicine should uh, stop it. If not, they'd have to shock him, and I don't know. I had to talk to him. I told him I was going to wait and call him first of the week. For, before he got settled in. He'd been in the hospital for two weeks. I didn't know it, but he'd been in the hospital for mm -hmm. two weeks. Uh, I know he'd be glad to, glad to get home. I tell you, if some of you have been in the hospital uh, any length of time, ain't it something how you walk outside and smell that fresh air? How it makes you feel good. Make sure you good. But, but let's pray for Brother Roddy and these others, all these requests could be made known. Uh, my, my, uh, my first cousin's husband passed away, and they buried him Friday. But pray for that family. Let's just pray for these many others. My brother Jimmy, pray for him. And let's pray for my, my niece, for my niece uh, Leah, uh, Leah Burnett, and pray for these others. Pray for Montana. Let's pray for the young teenage girl whose mom, she works at the dry fair. Let's pray for her. Let's pray for our meeting today for service this morning and night. Let's pray also for this will be the last Tuesday. We'll have Austin August, and Brother Austin Elkin is going to be here preaching for us. Amen. So you make plans to be here. The Little River Choir is going to come and sing for us. Amen. So y'all make plans to be here and hope for God that you can move in a mighty way. Amen. I just pray the Lord help us. So many other folks are sick. And I, I tell you what, Sister Sheila, they, they, she had COVID. Now her husband had COVID. He probably about over it by now. But pray for them. I tell you what, a lot of people had that stuff. Yep. I think I had it. And some of you probably had it. You were sick. And more than likely, Amen. Amen. Yeah. You can't keep a good person down. Get up That's and keep going. Right. I treat a lot of flu now, so commonplace. Yeah, yeah. But I'm glad I'm here. It makes you appreciate coming to church. Feeling good. It makes you appreciate feeling good. I that. Yeah. But let's just pray for each other and pray for our service today. You have unspoken requests this morning to signify the lift of the hand. Let's pray for our country. Pray for our country. This election is about 70 some days away. Yeah. And I pray, I've been praying this prayer. You pray it with me. God, have mercy on us one more time. Amen. 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 You know, Israel, they, some of the Israel, like Israel was in bodies for some time, 20 years and 40 years. Yeah. And they cried for God to help them, and God heard their cry. Amen. And God no respect or curse. So uh, early, uh, later on down close to time, we're going to have a special prayer service here at the church for our country, for our nation. We need to. We need to. Right. So I, I'll be announcing that for a long but Good to be in the Lord's house. Let's stand our feet all in the house of God. That's <coughs> God to help us. I'm glad that I'm here. I'm glad you're here today. Brother Jason, how about blessing off you? Yes. Good Lord, it's thankful that it's here today, dear Lord. Thank you for all your blessings, Lord. Thank you for all your blessings, Lord. Thank you for all your blessings, Lord. We bless you this morning. Let's pray for us all in the Lord. Touch you as you can touch us here. We'll pray for the Amen. Page 131. Kiss us, we trust in Jesus. <coughs> First and last verse of page 131. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to go the same.
Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more. I'm so glad I learned to trust Thee, precious Jesus, Savior, friend, and I know that Thou art with me, will be Not for Calvary. 
to him. You're right, I'm glad he loves us more than we could ever understand. Okay, Job chapter 3, if you find your place, we're going to read. begin reading verse number 1. After this, open Job his mouth and cursed his day. And Job spake and said, Let the day perish wherein I was born, and the night in which you were said, There's a man child conceived. Let that day be darkness, let not God regard it from above, neither let the shine a light shine upon it. Let darkness and the shadow of death stain it. Let a cloud dwell upon it, let the blackness of the day terrify it. Look at it, verse 11 this morning. Why died I not from the womb? Why did not I not give up the ghost when I came out of the belly. Why did the knees prevent me? Or why the breast that I should suck? Verse 23, look down to verse 23. Why is light given to a man whose way is hid, and to whom God has edged in? For my sighing comes before I eat, and my roar are poured out like the waters. Listen to this. For the thing which I greatly think, which I greatly feared, is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is coming to me. Brother Mike, bless you. Give us kind of rest of the problem. Yes. Praise the man of God. Lord, Lord, Lord. In the reading of the word of God, give us what we need to thank the spiritual eyes and ears and hear the heart of understanding. We love you. We'll thank you. Praise you. We got long so be among us today. So Jesus, I'm a prophet. We read the book of Job. First thing we think of, every time I, we mention Job, I think of his pride. Job had already experienced in, birth, in chapter 1 and 2 some great calamities God had allowed to come upon. We read about the conversation that Satan had with the Lord. And how God how God allowed Satan to go in a fleet job. And we as his people, we've read this book. <coughs> and we know the conversation. We've read the conversation that Satan had with the Lord. But Job was not privy to that conversation. He didn't know. But after verse chapter 2, Job begins to ask a few questions. He wondered probably like all of us would, why am I suffering? He said, Lord, he would plead, Lord, I need you to give me answer to why I'm facing what I am. Can I tell you something this morning? And this is a reality of it all. God may not ever give us answers for us suffering and what we go through. Yeah. Some people demand answers, but God don't owe us an explanation for that. In these verses, there's a little word that I have looked at. It's been mentioned five times in these verses I've read this morning. And that is one little word why? There'll be days, folks, that we face a lot of hardships. My wife passed away almost nine years ago. That's why. Well, my daughter passed. I guarantee he asked why many times. Some of you have went through things in your life. And you under, didn't understand, and you said, why? Why, Lord? But we read here, if you read it, like we said in the text, of mission five times. Why, Lord, why? I want to preach this morning on this subject. The days that end with why. The days that end with why. 
There's a certainty about some days will come upon us. That it's not if they will, it's when they will. People don't understand that and the, a lot of this prosperity preaching today, Brother Mike, has given the people the idea that everything always be okay. But that ain't true. There's going to be some days that we wonder why. There's going to be times we wonder <coughs> why. But I want to tell you something this morning, folks. We're going to talk about that a little bit today. Some of you that had a lot of things happen to you, you don't understand. Listen, there's nothing wrong with you asking God why. But if you ask Him why in a hateful and an arrogant spirit, that's accusing God. But let me tell you, there are certain days we face, there's common days we'll face. Just ordinary things we face. That's why I talk about common days. We face things every day sometimes. There's got a battle we fight every day with our feelings, our faith, and our flesh. And it's also a burden we face. Some of you share burdens with me and in confidence about things with your family, your family members, and your health issues. That's common burdens, common days that we all face. Job said a man born for a few days and walked full of trouble. So there's going to be days we see common days in our life. There's going to be days that we at an end in life in our life. There's also going to be a complicated day. Job had this to happen to him. The Word of God says in Philippians 4, it says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with the thanksgiving, let your request be known and made known unto God, and the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds to Christ Jesus. Deuteronomy, listen to this. Those complicated days you may ask why. Deuteronomy 29, 29, the devil said, the secret thing belongs to the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of his law. Some here, here today, Job run us a complicated day. We see another character here in Job is mentioned only one time. And that was Job's wife. See, his wife, his bride did not understand. Now I've heard preachers batter and badger and, and really run Job's wife down. But you got to understand, Job's wife had suffered loss just like Job had suffered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now she may not have gotten the bad health that Job had. But we see that Job did not understand. Job, had, he was what sitting there at, at his household doing well. All these things happened. His family, his youngest got killed. His, his farm, his beast, his all. He lost everything. And all of a sudden, God allowed, to, like God allowed Satan to smite him with balls. Job chapter 2 and verse 8 says, And he took the potter, which is a broke piece of pottery, to scrape himself with all, and he sat down among the ashes. And then, then said his wife unto him, Dost thou retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. According to my Bible, according to your Bible, King James Bible, and, and Job chapter 1, he was doing everything he was supposed to do. But the word of God even said in verse one, he was he would, that, that he was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and his shoot or hated evil. We don't need to be judge him, Job's wife, because she went through it. But it's kind of saying in our life, brother Mike, is simple. We understand. But there's things that come in our life. Those days that come, 
we don't understand. It's complicated to all of us. We want to say, Lord, I go to church, I serve God, I, I pay my time, I, 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 I pray, I read your word. I'm faithful as I can be, Lord. And these things will come upon us. And we wonder if it's complicated us because we don't understand. But who can know the mind of God, brother? No, nobody can know the mind of God. But let me tell you what, folks. Job's wife, I believe she said, won't you just curse God and die? This is my opinion, and my opinion like I know everybody's got one. But I believe she was seeing him suffer so much, Brother Phil, she wanted him to go ahead and Lord take him out of his suffering. Yeah. That's my opinion. Amen. Now that may not be may not be scriptural, but that's my opinion. And you kind of got to got have way. You've got to relate to this thing going on in your life. Yeah. But complicated things. Why do these things happen, preacher? I don't know. Somebody asked me, have asked me before, why have I faced what I'm doing? We got people in the church today are facing things that's complicated. They don't understand. And still, when they don't understand, they kind of lose their faith in God. You shouldn't do that, folks. He's never let us down before. He won't start now. Amen. He ain't going to start now. Not only did Brad did not understand, his buddy didn't understand. You remember those three men that come? Latter part of verse chapter 2 came to the village and he, he was sitting there for seven days and didn't speak a word because Job's grief was so, uh, was so great. Even in verse 11 of chapter 2 of, verse, uh, of Job, chapter 2 and verse 11, and a one Job friend heard of the, all this evil would come upon him that came everyone from his own place. Eliphaz, the Timonite, Bildad, the Shuhite, and so far the Namianite, they had made an appointment together to come to mourn with Job and to comfort him. And when they lifted up their eyes afar, they knew him not. They lifted up their voice and wept, and they went, rent everyone his mantle, and sprinkled dust upon their head toward heaven. So they sat down with him upon the ground seven days and seven nights, and none spake a word unto him, for they saw that he grief was great. We don't know there'll be days. These days in for why. We have days when we don't understand. Why do they come? Why did why we often ask this question and I've asked it. Why do good things happen to godly people? Bad things happen to godly people. Yeah. I mean, them old reprobates running around. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, right. Amen. Amen. They living like the booger man does. Amen. And they're doing the well. They got that man and that woman that loved God, prays, and she loves God, and seems like all hell dumps in her front yard. Yeah. Well, I don't have the answers, folks. Yeah. But I know God allows these things. Maybe. But there's going to be complicated things that happen in your life that you won't have answers for. You never will have answers for. Yeah. yeah. Those days that in my life. Those complicated days that in the wife. Like the death of a, of a loved one. Or worrisome things. Things of uncertainty. You don't understand why. I've heard him say, why did God take my young? I've heard, I've heard him say, why did God take my wife? Why did God take my husband? Why did God allow me to be sick? It's a complicated question which we have no answers for. But there's going to be these days that it is why. There's going to be these days that we don't understand. That's when you have to trust God, but my life. That's when you may not understand, but you can still trust Him. Amen. We may not know what's going on, but He does. That's right. Amen. And He knows the reason behind it. But I'll tell you what, friend. All I like old Bud Joe. Now he went through a lot, but he said something to me. It really, it really gets my motor rolling. Through all this he faced. Through his family, through losing his young and losing his farm, his finances, his health. I like what he said in Job 13, 15. Though he slay me, 
Yeah, well, I'm trusting Him. Mm. But I will maintain my own ways before Him. It's going to be as complicated days. Common days. Complicated days. All is going to be common days. Or concluding days, I'm sorry. In other words, there's going to be an end to the story. I always say this a lot on Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey was good. I like Paul Harvey. Amen. 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 He didn't put the oil where the squeak was. <laughs> he said, but that ain't the end of the story. Yep. There's concluding days. What happened? You remember all that Job went through. Those days of what? Chapter 42 gives us a little, little insight of what happened. And verse 10 of chapter 42 of Job says, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends, and also the Lord gave Job twice as he had before. In other words, here's what I'm trying to get to this morning. You may have no days of my brother Mike, but there are better days ahead. Amen. Amen. Remember that, brother. Y'all remember this. There may be some bad days. Some of you in our church have been through a lot of health issues. But it had not been for God. You Who right. would you be? You right, brother. Amen. 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 A lot of you here have been through a lot of financial crunches in your life. Yep. But but for God. Amen. 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 Those concluded days, Job lost everything. Look, God, God said he passed his head. That's yes. right. Man. He gave him twice as much as he had. Only thing he gave him twice as much as he had, he didn't give him another wife. His wife was still alive, far as I know. She never mentioned but one time in the in, 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 in book show. But the concluding day, the better day was granted, Brother Mike, and the better day he had. Amen. Hey, I, 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 I was thinking about, I was studying this Friday. I got thinking about this, Brother Mark. We go through things we don't understand. And we don't understand why we go through those things. <coughs> Hard things. But you know God puts us through the fire because later on, there's something better for us. Amen. 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 Do you know the man that well, the, that founded the Hershey Chocolate Company went bankrupt four times. Yep. Mm. And then, y'all know what happened. Next yep. time we buy a candy bar, think of him. Yep. He was successful. What I'm saying, sometimes those things that we face, therefore, like in the case of Joseph, Joseph said, You meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Yep. There's going to be a pain at it in the way, man. Man, when we experience a great loss, that God bless us with a better day. Amen. That's what I heard that. You know what? Those days of mine, we only see the bad things about the days of mine. We all see the bad, only see the bad things. But in the end, in the end, after all's over, don't say it goes, the smoke clears. We realize God done it. To give us greater things. Yes. Some of you have been through the dark times in your faith walking with God. You're right. Yes. But let me tell you what, you went through it and it made you better. Amen. You before you went through it. Amen. Amen. Right. And that's where it comes with Job. Job went through a hard time, but he was, whole, he was twice as good when he would come out of the end. Amen. We don't like this. I don't like those days. I don't like those days. Why? But they do come. They will come. Not if they will, but they will. Yes. And we see here today a brighter day is guaranteed for all of us, folks. One of these days, Brother Mike, this old body of mine is getting older and getting slower. One of these days, I'm going to drop this robe of flesh and I'm going to a better place. Yes, sir. Sir. So hold on to what you got, huh? You may think, hey, preacher, I'll never be happy. Yet. Oh, but to the bad place. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey, 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 preach it now. Whoa, oh, hey, I'm about to get in there. Yeah. Come on, buddy. <laughs> hey, to the bad place. Hey, 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 h
Brother Mike, in the letter in the letter Y? Uh, yes. Did you know that? But I'll tell you some days in with the word Y. Uh, they did. So we need to understand. The word of God says it does rain on the just and the unjust. And there's going to be times when things don't go as smooth as other days. There's going to be days of why in our life. There's going to be days of why. Those days of why are coming. But they don't last forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, have they, Woo. That's they, do. they don't last forever. That's mm. it. Got to understand. We got to understand. Living the Christian life is the best life. This ever lived. Amen. But it ain't without battles that go with it. Even in the Bible, Brother Mike, I saw a few people in the Bible that asked that that asked God why. Moses asked him why. Look over here over Numbers 11, 11 and Moses said unto the Lord, Wherefore hast thou afflicted thy servant? And wherefore have I not found favor in thy sight? That thou layest the burden of all these people upon me. He had to lay why? He said, God, why did you put all this on me? They ain't even my young. I had to treat them like, right? take care of my young. He said, why, Lord? Even David said the very same thing. He said in Psalm 22 and 1, he said, and here if you read in the subtitle here, a lot of the, the Psalms have, it says to the chief musician upon Elijah, so far, a psalm of David, he said, My God, my God, why has forsaken me? Why are those so far from helping me from the words of my Lord? He said, Lord, why? He said, David got to the point. He said, Lord, you have you left me, Lord? Have you ever been to a time of your life in that valley where you felt like you didn't nobody around you at all? You left me. Oh, oh, Elijah got right that did. He left a gentleman. And he said, Lord, don't you kill me? I'm not one that will turn God anyway. Yeah. And the Bible said a big wind comes, and God wouldn't be in the wind. A big, uh, a big uh, thunder and lightning came, God would be in it. Boy, boy. But when that still small voice came, he yes. was with God. So we see here in the scripture today, even Jesus asked the Father of mine. Yep. And you know he is, and we're going to be the same way even more so. Why he said, why? He said, my God, my God, why? Have self for a second. Yeah. There's going to be days of why, friends. But I'm glad today, even though we had those days of why, we got brothers and sisters in Christ and Christian that have prayed for us and stand there with us in these days. Amen. Amen. Yes. But we see here, folks. In the Bible, we have one who asked God, why more? And that was the Lord. I, 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 read, this, I, I read this and I wrote it down. I want you to go on and get it said. Joseph, Joseph lived in the, in the land of us, not the land of Oz. <laughs> there wasn't no yellow brick road to the Emerald City. He lived in that town, he lived in that country. And he died and he faced those days of wine. He lost everything he had. He said in verse 25, he said, verse, chapter 3 25 says, his worst night, had, a nightmare had come true. For this thing which I greatly feared is so, come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come upon me. Five times he asked, why, God? Why? Those days of mine. Job teaches all of us, it's a great lesson for us all, folks, to how to handle those days of his mind. We see, have already seen, Job taught us that those days of in and while are the common days. He I, I'm, I'm repeating this for a reason. 
Jesus, Paul said in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, there is no temptation taken to you but such as common to man. There's no, but he'll, he'll, he'll send us, but you'll be able to overcome those temptations. There's battles we got to fight. You can even see what Job said here. In verse 26, I think it's right. He says, first of all, I was not in safety, neither had I rest. Neither will I fight, yet trouble came. In other words, I'd mind my own business in trouble came. You know what, folks? Can I tell you something? This is a real reality tonight, today. Suffering should not surprise us. Yeah. People, when things come upon them, they think, oh gosh, what is going on? But Peter said in 1 Peter, verse 4, uh, chapter 4, verse 12, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. And though some strange things happen to you, what he said, don't think it wrong, don't think nothing strange about it. He said, expect them to come sometimes. They're going to come sometimes. We've got to learn to live with God in on the, on the mountaintop. We've got to learn to live with uh, him in the valley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So many days, folks, they, they like, I call them fire wretched Christians. As long as the things are going well, everything's sunny and beautiful for them, they serve the Lord. But when something comes in their life that distracts, dis 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 disrupt, disrupts their, their lives, they can't have it. They can't have it. Where are you going to go when these days of life come in your life, folks? Where are you going to go? Who are you going to run to? Only what we can run to is the feet of Jesus, folks. Too many people this morning are trying to figure this out on their own. You can't figure it out. But God can do a work in you. Maybe. That's all a part of, of, of living for God. Afflictions, pain, and adversity. That's all part of it, folks. But you know one thing, brother, sisters, this suffering, it'll make it, it'll make heaven a whole lot sweeter when we get there. Amen. Amen. Sure will. But I'm gonna tell you what, folks, we need to understand. Jesus said in this world should have tribulation, but be a good cheer. I've overcome the world. Everybody, even maybe people that listen on YouTube, this will be on YouTube at probably today or tomorrow. They should know that short we live, we're going to be days that end with why. There's going to be times we wonder why, Lord. Why did you allow things not happen? Some of you had. And I'm not bringing it up with some, some of you had failed marriages. And I guarantee you when it happened, you asked God, you wondered why you let that get out of the house. But he does it for weeks. Some of you this morning have lost a lot of stuff. Some relationship with your family members is not what it ought to be. And you wonder why. Days is why. <laughs> you lay in the bed at night. Worried about something, or you in the bed of affliction, sick, and you look to heaven and say, Why? No, David, why? But can I tell you one thing, friend, today? When God will take you to the take you through it, you won't walk by it, walk in it by yourself. That's right. 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 You won't have to face it on your own. Amen. We're not exempt with those days called the days of wine, that end with wine. We either been through that day, either going through the day, or we'll face that day until the Lord returns. But when you do, remember this. Will you please remember this? It'll help you through a lot. 
Remember, even though you go through that, you have those days, the inward wine, you're not alone in that, in that walk, folks. And you're not the only one that has faced this. I've been through grief, grief and a lot of us have lost loved ones. People ask me, say, how you were doing? I said, I'm doing all right. They said, I said, you know what? I'm, I, I'm, I know that I am not the first man, the first person to walk in this day of while, in this valley, in this path. And I know that God has allowed the people to do that, and He's got them through it, and God is no respecter of person, and I'll get to I went to I went to book Central Baptist Temple Wednesday night for church. I had to go, I had to go to church somewhere. I had the house of God. I had to go somewhere. But Miss June Pat, bless her heart. Mm -hmm. I, I, feel, I wouldn't talk to her. I said, Miss June, how you doing? She said, Well, Rick, I do good some days. Some days, and she's never said that's the way it is. I said, Well, be honest with you, listen to me. It'll get better. Mm -hmm. But it ain't going to do it overnight. Those days of wine. We, won't we don't understand those days of wine that happened to us. We don't understand why God allows it. But He does it for our good and for His glory. Yeah. That's my soul now. But one thing, and I'm going to close. One thing about these days of wine. Please don't let them alienate you from God. Amen. Exactly. Don't Amen. let him alienate you from God. As I look across these, some of these hippie pews this morning, Brother Mike, I can close by and visualize some that said here, yes, sir. some that said there, some that said there. And things in their life, the days of why come in their life. And some not even going to church or serving God anymore. You're right, person. And some has already went to the grave. Yes, sir. But let me tell you something this morning, folks. A lot of these people, a lot of people, those days of why come, instead of, in react, instead of reacting in, 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 in faith, they react, overreact. And that's where the problem comes to life. Yeah. I know it's a very easy to stand in this pulpit this morning and say, just keep trusting God. It's easy to say that when you're on the other end. Right. But when you're going through it, it's a different story, folks. Yes, Can I tell you this morning, the Lord understands that we're just human. He understands we're just flesh. He understands sometimes we're people that are driven by our emotions. But He needs us to understand this. He understands us. And He knows. He has that sufficient grace and help to help you through those days of wine. I'll ask you today, folks. I know this was not a shout and message, but I think it's a message in here. Maybe. Maybe. We ask we ask God why. The days of why. I've seen people lose loved ones by the field. And they almost go stark raving mad. I've seen them, I've heard tell of this man I heard, he lost his grandson. They said he was supposed to be supposed to be saved. But said he got in his house, all those dishes, pots and pans, and said, "Why?" You see, that's why the devil is reacting. Yeah. Right. Right. I don't listen. I don't. I don't enjoy. I didn't, don't enjoy those days of why. I know. But I've been saved for a long time. I've been serving God for many years, and He ain't never once. Put me in a bad, bad position where he couldn't get me out of it. Amen. He never yes, sir. 
put me in a side ditch, Butterfield, that he couldn't get me out of here. Right. That's right. He never allowed me, he allowed me to shed tears for the whole time. He was bawling those tears. Yes, he was. Yeah. Yeah. Those days were mine. They're not happy days sometimes. They're grievous days, they're sad days, and it's a, it's a day sometimes that will shake our faith. But can I tell you one thing, folks? There will be days of wine. Some of you I know by, by, by being around you, being your pastor as long as I've had, y'all faced a lot of white days of wine. But you're still serving God. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right, right, right. And if any one of you, any one of you could stand right where you're at today and say, Preacher, I had a lot of doubt. But God showed me He was on the throne. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Yeah, he'll get me through. Yes, yeah, sir. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you what, folks, that nothing God won't let you, won't help you through. Right. Well, you may be today, something in your life, that you need this altar and ask God to help you. Like I said a while ago, it's not will He come, but it's going to, they don't, they don't come sometimes. Well, I'm glad today that when we need grace, He'll give us grace. For every trial in the mind. Oh, Job went through a battle. He said, That which I feared didn't come upon me. He said, but I'm going to maintain my integrity before his ways. He said, I'm going to keep going for God. Yes. <coughs> Where are you going to go anyway? You know? You sure don't want to go to that world and back to their world here. Exactly. I'd rather serve God in the valley than I had more of a mountain top. Amen. 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 That's good, Amen. Preacher. Amen. Yes. Because I know my Redeemer lived. Yes, he yes. did. And I know he's Woo. never going to let me down. Amen. 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 Right there. Amen. Right there. Amen. Right there. Amen. You may have trouble, proud, tribulation, tears, right. turbulence in your life. But he know, Job said, he knoweth the way I take. He knoweth. He said, when I am, when he said, I'll be purified. Yes. Let's stand in old church house. I'm through. I, I'm done with what God told me. And I want you to bow your head. I'm going to pray. And